Big cap. Can we have a quick chat? But then again, who gonna check me, boo? I know you're frustrated being pulled in so many directions, as well as having your own desires and wants to attend to, darling dears. It's all distractions, especially when you're young or you find yourself in a toxic situation. If you can, if you can get through the DNS, you will come out of out the version of yourself, the version you came here to be, the DNS, darling dears. I have to look over my shoulder, why? Because I'm the red light, green light champion of 79. I've told you many times, bestie. The dark night of the soul is trial by fire. Whether it's the fire you are approaching in the middle of or out of, reborn in your true self, the quiet voice that always told you when things was not quite right, didn't, didn't quite add up, right? Just like Luther Vandress's curl. Mm. Not everyone has the inner fortitude to go through the fire, darling dears. They want to win now with, without doing any of the work necessary to come through the fire. God said, God said, if you wait, I will exalt you. People are always in a hurry to get to the good stuff. Many praying on a lottery win, a better job, better housing, hurrying when God told you to wait. You've got to wait. Hurrying to get to the come up. However, however, when you, when you get it, it's an empty victory. You know why? You know why? As I told you many, many times, bestie, it's the journey, not the destination. In many cases, it was about learning to walk alone, becoming self-sufficient. For some, it was being mother and father to your progeny. It's about you coming through the fire, the people you, you meet along the way, the lessons you learn as you continue the journey. It's about the journey. This is when the timing of the Most High will kick in. Make a wave. Namaste! Grand Rising Big Cat, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. What your message or massage is? Come in! Come on! I've got intel. Recon is afoot. planetary energies are. The Skulldogress moon is in Sagittarius, the ninth house, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Ruled by Jupiter. It's about expansion. It's your growth, darling dears. It's about your higher learning and possibly travel, tapping into your spiritual side. Love it. I don't hate it. And it's urging you to climb every mountain and lean into your positive thoughts. Take risks. That feel right for you, darling dears. Be sure you're making the right decisions for yourself. Okay, let's dive in, darling dears, and unpack that. Why not, eh? Why not? Ha <laughs> ha! I love it. I don't hate it. Let's carry on at a hot trot. Let's get a domino. Just like in the fire sign reading, maybe there's a message for you. Double five, darling dears. The energy of the five speaks about conflict, instability, but it also speaks about constructive freedom and change, being versatile. The number five is ruled by, or the numerology of the five is ruled by Mercury, as well as Neptune energy. So this is about you using your communication skills. It also speaks about travel. It also speaks about your intellect, darling dear, your mind, using your mind. Neptune is the 12th house, the 12th house of endings. It's also the house of what enemies, darling dears? People coming out from the woodwork. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not liking your swag. Okay, that's their business. So this is Virgo as well as Pisces energy. You've created some kind of freedom for yourself. Because the only thing you can really change on this Malkuth, darling dear, is yourself. Once you change the cat in the mirror, this is when things around you change. Mm -hmm. 
the energy of the double five speaks about um this change being fortunate for you it speaks about a new home a new career a new job a new mindset something tangible is about to kick off in your hemisphere why you chose to change you and you moved in stealth mode darling dears mm -hmm. let's get a moonstone the reason why I pulled us going to see if the shell was going to fall over. Listen, no secrets are being revealed today. Thank good golly and gosh. Not that you've got any. No, you haven't. And if you tell me, you know I won't tell anyone. what swallow this is big cat sun energy leo energy darling dears it also speaks about you being a more positive positive mind frame so you're using the energy of the moon in sagittarius mm -hmm. the sun speaks about travel you may be planning a vacation a holiday of some kind but it also speaks about your willpower your willpower willpower towards transformation it also speaks about a return to health for some. Mm -hmm. The sun energy rules the arm, heart, the spinal cord, the thalamus. Mm -hmm. It speaks about your significance, darling. Yes, the sun is masculine energy. You are realizing your significance and your stamina. This also speaks about you being... Um, some kind of authority figure in your life darling dears this person lacked in some in integrity the sun the sun rules um the solar plexus it's represented by the direction of east maybe you're from the east or you're going towards the east it also rules wednesday so wednesday is going to be important to you this is about your self-esteem your ego and your willpower being on the up and up this is a fortunate change that's come for you. Ten speak about what completion, ending of cycles, it goes down to a one. You initiated this. You've claimed your independence and individuality in a circumstance. It also speaks about this new beginning that you're bringing about. Mm -hmm. The energy of the one is ruled by the sun as well as Uranus energy. The change that's in the wind for you, darling dears, because of your what? That's right, bestie, your stealth mode. Oh, pardon me, that was a spiritual belt because I speak the truth, roof. Pinkies are. Mm -hmm. As I sip my mocha, because I ain't getting smoked. I told you, it's not fabulous, gorgeous, or lovely. My edges and my hairline almost never forgave me. Mm -hmm. Tried to creep behind my crown, but I wasn't having it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get your oracle ancestral message. We're going to use the African goddess rising. for you darling they're leveling up right in a state of what giving and receiving we're seeing the number 10 again darling dear mm -hmm. two times the energy of two tens lean in bestie it speaks about what your circumstances and situations improving when we see two tens it could also speak about the joining of two a wedding and engagement and somebody two people agreeing to be what Monot monogamous I nearly said monotonous. Listen, allow me, yeah? Mm-hmm. So you've got the two, the, the 10, the 39, and 43. These numbers are important. Maybe it's your date of birth with the 10, the month, the day of the month. Um, the 39 could be your age. Mm-hmm. 43 could be your age. But it's your harvest season, darling, dear. You are leveling up. Why? Because you utilize the stealth mode. It's the only way to go, darling, dears. It's a chance for you to listen to your higher mind, 
right? For you to what? Take the reins and re re-educate yourself on circumstances and situations, improving your life from see from said or through said education. A new beginning for you, darling dear. A season of giving and receiving. When you see someone in front of an archway, an archway represents new opportunities, new beginnings. Mm -hmm. But it's the duality of the balance of the two, darling dears. Just like the two pillars of wisdom outside King Solomon's temple in the Book of Kings. You're leveling up spiritually, darling dears. And again, in front of, in front of what? An archway with two pillars. Yep. Boaz and Jeshin for completion and beginning. An ending of a cycle. The ten speaks about the ending of a cycle. But you was the initiator of said ending. Wow. That's a lot. Base of the deck. Fearless love. And the love always comes from self. And again, we're seeing what the solar plexus. Your communication and planning is going to be having a certain je ne sais quoi, quoi, quoi over the next several weeks, darling dears. And we also have the number 25. So 25, 43, 39, and the number 10 is very important to you. Mm -hmm. Right, let's carry on. Dare we get some cards? What brought about this level up Asian? This new you, right? Yeah, because you've got new rules, darling dears. And, and <laughs> rule number one. <laughs> Don't get effed over. Rule number two. Tell no one nothing. Rule number three. All right. Yeah. New rules for those what? T-Rex arms with their trippy taka ways, darling dears. Yes. People have seen it. Right. They're getting a front seat ticket. Right. On the spiritual short bus as they go on a day trip past the sign that says you can't F off past this point. This is the new you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Your vibration is raised. This is sun energy, darling dears. This is your inner inner self taking the reins of your subconscious mind, darling dears. And what activation mode? Conceive, believe and achieve. You're going to be getting desirable outcomes. The domino already told us so, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The number five also speaks about the key word for five is um security as well. Mm -hmm. Somebody's somebody's feeling threatened by the foundation that you are creating for yourself. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to make um some kind of major decision in the near future. Gonna have to make a decision in the near future. Let's throw a quick duck. We've got two darling dears. The keyword for two is about an adventure. This is going to be a lucky period for you, darling dears. It's like everything you touch turns to gold. Why? Because you did the inner work. It's not for the faint hearted. It's for those that have got sick and those that become sick and tired of being sick and tired, and you was at that point. So there's no going back, darling dears, ever forward in the words of Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. The two also speaks about a possible money win, but it's definitely travel is on the cards for you, darling dears. For some, it will be impromptu travel, but you will have the funds. I'm telling you, you are getting pennies, or should I say pound, pound sterlings from heaven, darling dear. When you stop fighting about, fighting against what God told you and God told you to wait and you enjoy the journey take the lessons meet whom you're supposed to meet get the lessons from every person you meet darling dears right and realize that you are the master of your fate become the best version of yourself you wait on God and you will be exalted more beyond your wildest dreams darling dears and this is your time somebody somebody or some bodies Get in the front seat on the spiritual short bus as it goes on said field trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Opportunities are opening up. We saw all of the archways, darling dears, here and here. The two, the duality and balance of it all. Fearless, darling dears. Be fearless. Why not? Fake, right? Back front, Nick Tabin and Skull Douglas is already taken. Let's be fearless. Cat, cat. 
Mm-hmm. Let's get um, a deck. We're going to freestyle it today. I'm going to freestyle it. going to use the... If I can find it. Because I come in here and I touch my things and I can't find them. And now I can't find... Oh, here it is. I'm going to use the Vice Versa Tarot. Yeah. Somebody's seen you as a big fat missed opportunity. They're watching you in the distance. Yep. This is also because you can see the ship looks a bit hazy. They don't know exactly what's going on. There's a lot of it's we're seeing the sacral chakra, but it's pale, darling. This so this is in the reverse, right? They're feeling extremely lonely. Their emotions are all over the place. Their cranium needs sorting out, darling. This this person is extremely low self-esteem. They've got low libido. They're not getting any creative ideas. This is um sacral chakra is represented by water energy. Mm -hmm. It's ruled by Venus, Venus rules Taurus and Libra, as well as Tuesday. So Tuesday is important, darling, dears. Somebody's got a lack of self-worth. They're having a lot of issues with their emotions. As I said, it's all about all, all over the place. And their relationships, oh, child, Chucky would be impressed. Mm -hmm. Because this is vice versa, Tarot, it has images of both sides. So you've got to shuffle them differently and pull from the bottom of the deck. So what do we need to know, right? These new rules, you are not about to be effed over by no one. Look at you with your orange sacral chakra. This is a return in your confidence, your emotional and sensual needs. You are meeting them yourself. Maybe you're breaking yourself off. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it alone, darling dear. This is somebody that's been through some things. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. But it also speaks about your spiritual fortitude and strength, as well as being protected and guided, darling dears. A new beginning. Because you know you can begin again. And this is something that you're not going to have to fight for. Why? It's coming under no new rules. New rules that you set for yourself. Which is gifting you with what? The biggest pentacle of them all. The Ace of Pentacles, darling dears. But it's also telling you not to get lost in the source. This is a maze. But there's also what? Lots of trees at the back. There's also an impasse, darling dears. You've got to believe, conceive, believe and achieve. In order to achieve. Believe in what? fearlessly in yourself use that love of self that fearless love mm -hmm. yeah because many are having a hard time moving on from you cancer energy on its face darling dear the warrior mm -hmm. chariot energy this is people that are lacking in determination somebody wants to block your blessings darling dears but it's also speaking about somebody wanting to approach you for some kind of something tangible alone somewhere to stay Maybe even your sound advice. They want to know how you did what you did. Again, stealth mode, darling dears. If they wasn't there when you was going through it, they must continue to be outside the perimeter, darling dears, wondering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is someone that what breadcrumbed you in the past, darling dears. Somebody's looking for a loan, a domicile. This is a hobo sexual, an opportunist that wants to come through. Let me pull one more card from this deck and then we'll break it down. Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning, and look, the tower is on top. You had to call a tower in a situation. This is also somebody re, re, re educating themselves on their religious or spiritual knowledge. A new beginning. This is also about it being what satisfying because it's something that you're choosing to do, choosing this journey of self introspection. This is why you had to go into stealth mode to get great, to create these new rules that you are now activating as you're being gifted the biggest pentacle of them all. Ace of Pentacle speaks about the what? Opportunities. Opportunities. Underneath that, it's saying what? The loss of you is their karma. Underneath that, we've got to pick a yellow card. All right. Get a yellow card quickly and then we'll press on to break these other cards down. Look, the devil is not welcome. Back turned. Mm -hmm. This is moving away from addictive behaviors, controlling behaviors, darling dears, narcissistic, sociopathic, all of the above, darling dear. They don't have no certificate from the local exorcist. Mm -hmm. They've got mummy and daddy issues. Base of the deck. Yeah. Somebody is really, really, really pissed off. They was at their stress or are at their stress threshold, darling dear. 
This is where real change begins, darling dears. When you become sick and tired of being sick and tired. Mm -hmm. As I sip my mocha, because I ain't getting smoked. Right, let's go in. Face of the deck. This is because of some kind of betrayal. This is gang stalking. Lots of gossip, darling dears. And in some cases, it's recovering some from some kind of mental illness. Yeah, maybe you felt mentally ill being in a situation. Possibly it was gaslighted up the Watuzi. Mm -hmm. Let's give you a good shifty. Let's see what's going on. Clarify the wounded warrior. Face of the deck. Again, move in silence, darling dears. Because what? If you start telling people what your next move is, darling dears, many won't see it for you. They want you to fail. And not only that, they will be telling other people about it as well as what bringing it down, darling dears. What did I say? You create a lot of gossip, a lot of subterfusion bull swanky that you don't want. Yeah. From what? People that are fickle, darling dears, running from mud hut to mud hut, being the town crier. Again, this is why you're going into stealth mode. Look. Look what fell on the chariot. The chariot itself, let's leave it there. This is in the upright. We'll get back to this. Single and independent moving forward. Mm -hmm. What about this knight of wands, this gossiping gossiper, right? Yes, they've got a couple, they've got a couple bull swanky for the young and the old. This person chooses to be this way. Why do they choose to be so gossiping and slanderous and trying to what peep on what you've got going on? What's their issue? Right? Because you're creating a solid foundation for yourself, darling dears. Yeah, what did I say? The gossip, the controversy. You realise you don't compete where you don't compete. They're offended. They're, this pig, right, is offended you don't want to be in the muck with them. Imagine that. Pinky's up, right? Yeah, I can't make it up. Queen of Swords, my right hand's itching me. That means Skrilla. Dot com is a foot, darling dears. Queen of Swords, you peep their game. You realise that you only get one go round on this merry-go-round called life on this Malkuth. You have the wisdom of your experience. You've learned. This is about you understanding the journey that you took on. It wasn't easy. This is representative of a divorced man or woman or someone who is childless, choosing to be childless or over the age of childbearing, darling dears. But the point of the fact is, you use your intuition. Swords is about spiritual downloads. You listen to angel whispers, darling dears. And you decided to what? Create the fire. Become the what? The dark night of the soul. Go through it, darling dears. I had to look over my shoulder. I told you already, I'm the red light, green light champion of 79. And it now happened to me again. Mm -hmm. You're highly intelligent. You are using your, your grey matter cells, darling dears. You're making, you're being sure to make the right decisions for you. Yeah. Face of the deck, you come with the whole tower moment. Bringing it down. This is ending situations, ending cycles once and for all. Let's talk about this because, listen, you don't want to be around those that come with the fool's gold, fresh is naive, shining in the sunlight, being spiritually guided to what stand alone, know your worth and add tax. The Nine of Pentacles is a single and independent card. This is about you being the whole of your own circle, darling dears. It's, for some, it's very hard. In the beginning, it's hard. But it's about you, what? Getting over these negative cycles, these addictive behaviours that did not serve you. Yeah. Someone is well and truly disappointed in that they can't do you how they did you before. Look at this. Their passive-aggressive lying snake tongue. Yeah, straight under this Four of Cups. The Knight of Swords. They wanted to destabilize you. They wanted you annihilated off the face of God's Malkuth, darling dears. Mm-hmm. The devil's not welcome. You're moving forward. Yeah. Minding your own business, focusing on your mental health, focusing on building wealth for yourself. And we saw the ten. Fortune favors the brave, darling dears, and there's nothing like what? Waiting on God to be exalted and exalted you will be. Just saw 2222 on the counter, darling dears. That's the magnification of the 1111 fade. 
it's your time. 2222 goes to an 8. 8 is the number of what? Skrilla.com money folding stuff. All of your earthly wishes will be what? It will be given to thee. Because you what waited on God. You waited on God. You went into stealth mode. You listened to your higher mind. You turned your back on what being breadcrumbed. You saw the truth for what it was. And you had to look at it through your spiritual eyes. Which wasn't easy. You had to what? Create new paradigms in your life. Which wasn't easy. Because the fire energy, the fire energy is about your inner strength, darling dears. You had to be impulsive and willful and enthusiastic about this new beginning. You had to adopt your masculine energy. For some of you, because ones is about your sexuality, you had to become celibate, turn your back. On meaningless assignations. Mm -hmm. Or entanglements. Yes, yes, yes. Come through, Jada. Posh, clap. Mm-hmm. You had to. My mind just went to the mommy and daddy issue. Let's see about this mommy and daddy issue. What's this mommy and daddy issue? Listen, it could be you and you are the mommy and daddy in the situation. It was your mommy and daddy. The situation wasn't working. It was the wrong partner. This person was invested in many this also speaks about mistress energy, darling dear. Mistress. Someone has a mistress, darling dear. Where they are, it's not a stable foundation. Their money's got... Listen, the money's... If there's a window, it's out there. They should have been loyal to you, King of Cups. Oh, well. It well. Like I said, some of us, when we face the fire, it's about being mother and father to your progeny, darling dears. Co-parenting your damn self. Yeah. Yeah, you've been through a thing or two, darling dears, with someone who is a narc, a high commander Terracon. Someone who previously had your psychological password until you took that final blade at your back. They've got no mental control over you anymore. You're making the right choices for yourself on the Ace of Pentacles. This is what is making these new opportunities manifest. Somebody feels betrayed, darling dears, because you're not taking their bullshit and they can't emotionally get over you. They've got the emotional, emotional level of what? A two-year-old, a two-year-old Chucky on opioids. Ooze. Yeah, 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 them things there. They're disappointed, darling dears. Why are they disappointed? Look, because they can't emotionally control you. You know that whomsoever has control of your emotions is your king. And the loss of you is their karma. It's got to be, darling dears. They need to watch shut all the way up until they get to the top of shut up fuck mountain, darling dears. And when they're there, they must go there in silence. Shut all the way up. Please. Ain't nobody got time for that. Your back is turned. You're looking to the most high, listening to your higher mind, creating a new paradigm for yourself. It also speaks about a new relationship or relationships because of the fearless love you should. And I say that relationship, this is a partner, darling. There's a future husband or wife, king of pentacles, because you turned your back on what wasn't working for you. Went silent. When you realize the level of betrayal, the gossip, the backbiting. Small minds only discuss people, darling dears. Great minds. They create theories, paradigms. They, they, they think on great things. They talk about great things. And they attract great people. Yeah. You create the tower moment. Nobody, listen. They need to shut all the way up until they get to the top of shut the F up mountain. Yeah, keep it moving. Next card is telling us what? The next card is telling us my bad. Yeah. I'm on point now. Forgive yourself for what you didn't know. This is all part of what facing the fire for what you didn't know. Correcting your path is an inside job, darling dears. Something that you must work fearlessly 
on, on a daily basis because the devil is always waiting to kick down the door and create your life into a mud hut. Mm -hmm. Being on point with yourself. Let them have the front seat to get and watch you boss up again, future husband or wife, right? Because your block game, block game is for the gods. It's against spiritual protection and you're above all of that foolishness. You have to leave the situation with two different shoes, darling dears. Come on. Mm. Let's see this. Let's do some readings on this future person or people that's coming into your life. Stable people, darling dears. People on the level. Look what's the next card is. Makeover, some kind of a surgery. This is, somebody's going to be correcting themselves. Underneath that, major blessing in the next seven days, darling dears. Major blessing. Hmm. All right. You have to get sick and tired of being sick and tired to get where you are right now, darling dears. Tell me about this king of pentacles. Right? This person don't come in a burden. Right? Um, star card speaks about the supporter. Yeah, somebody coming in to support you, darling. There's a benefactor. You could also speak about sponsorship deals for others. You are going to be stepping into your King of Pentecali season, darling, dear, which is going to have them stressing, worried, press pumped and perturbed, especially at night time when they realize that your back is firmly turned. Law 16 of the full table, laws of power, looking towards what? What divine has for you? Generational wealth, true loyalty, true foundation being set in stone. And again, another archway of, for the opportunities. Because you had to get Queen of Swords. You had to get Cerebral, darling dears. And realize that you not every battle must you attend. And why would you argue with a simpleton from a distance? You can't see who the chicken of the sea is. The Queen of Swords, yeah, you'll hear people out. But if you already know them to be what? Feeble-minded and dull-eyed. That's a waste of your good godly time, darling dears. Waste of your time. This new person is coming in to support you. All right? And you're going to want to take this risk because it's a new beginning. But like I said, we do the what? Boosy bad ass. Trust no one. Eyes on everyone. All gets investigated. Boosie's got a new track out. What's it called? Ungrateful. Yes, 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 yes. Remember the journey, darling dears. We have the memory of an elephant, just like that elephant in India. This is a new beginning. Take this leap of faith and be spontaneous, but divine is telling you to go. Go lightly, darling dears. Pack light. Don't take any baggage from previous situations. Not telling you to be feeble-minded and foolish. Look before you leap, darling dear. Read the fine print. But try new things and new things will open up for you. Opportunities and new beginnings are being gifted to you. Yeah. Because you didn't take the rusty cup of opium. You didn't want the cockalorum. You didn't want the yesteryear, the breadcrumbing of what was never going to be. Three of cups, you've created it for yourself. And it also speaks about celebration with feminine energy. Yeah. This is why it didn't work. People were choosing others over you. And I said the gossip was rampant. Rabid, vapid. You're rolling with the six G's. What's the six G's? You've got God, goals, gifts, greatness, growth, and gratitude. This is why you're being gifted with many opportunities. And the seven of cups is telling you to choose wisely. Read the fine print. And don't be a in a rush to get to the what? The cup of the abundance, darling dears. It's about the journey. Don't rush things. Don't rush things. God's timing doesn't tell you to what be like a tree and be be um um stuck in the same position. It's telling you to what be careful when you're planting your roots. Choose wisely, darling dears, because opportunity is a foot. Mm -hmm. You're going to be making decisions, and it may even be a decision between two potential new lovers, two new friends, darling dears. But remember, one will come with deception. It's for you to use your discernment, your intuition, your Queen of Swords energy to discern whether it's a circumstance or situation you want to get involved with. Why? You're still on that life's journey, learning new things. Mm. Yeah, 
to be careful because somebody is coming in to what? Break your mental health, take your money, use every other orifice that you have at their disposal. This is the night of ones, mate. Yeah, they look good, darling, dear, but they're always rushing from mud hut to mud hut. A gossiper always gossiping in groups, darling, this especially about you. Stealth mode is key on this journey called life. As you face the fire, the fire of the what? DNS, trial by fire. Mm -hmm. Wash your face like David from what happened before, but remember Saul's energy is about the mind. Remember what they did. Remember what they did. You can forgive them, but remember what they did. And remember, if you are vibrating on the energy of still being upset and hurt by what they did, you better go to the mirror. Look deep into your eye chakras and slap the shiznai out of yourself until blood and spittle flies. Then wash your face like David and come back and we can finish this read. Get a grip, Scotty. You got, you got to be, y'all, y'all have to be strong. You got to be strong. You have to be. Be strong, darling dears. Weakness is for the feeble-minded. What? Knights. Knights. That like to run in and out of other people's lives. But nobody really understands the full magnitude of what's going on. They haven't got a pot to piss in or a window to put it out on. They're not stable in their cranium. Everything is destabilized around them. The only opportunities is the ones that you are making for yourself. As they get what? A front seat on the spiritual short bus as it goes on its field trip. Let them talk, darling dears. Let them say what they want to say. They can even add, they can add extra to it, but it's nothing to do with you. You've already come off the field and gone into the barn. They have to hit the road just like Jack. You learn to walk with the wise, Proverbs 13, 20. And that sometimes, as I said, that walk was alone, but it's just like that footsteps poem. When you thought there was nothing helping you, God wasn't helping you, God was carrying you. How did you get this far? How? You know why? Because you're waiting. You waited on God's timing. And God is going to exalt you in the faces of your enemy as your head is anointed. Your cup will surely run off over. Remember I told you that? Mark it down on your almanac. That your bestie, Case, told you this is naive. Mm-hmm. Oops. See what Kipper says about this. What did I say? Sudden wealth comes in many forms, not just Skrilla. Dot com, the money. Soul tribe, darling, dear. New job, new communication, right partnerships, right thinking. Lots of synchronicities, darling, dears. Everything lining up for you. 777 speaks about manifesting your dreams. Good things are coming your way. Just let it flow into your life. Don't rush it. Don't force it. Continue to learn from the experiences that you've had. Have the memory of an elephant just like the elephant in India. Remember what they did. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, remember what they did. And don't forget that Bastado's name, darling, India. Apart from that, it's all good in your hood. No, the duality of the pathway, darling, India, is transformation season. You are being called, darling, dear. You have to remember, many are called and few are chosen because they don't choose to live fearlessly, love on themselves, realize where they made wrong turns. And it's not about stepping backwards. This is about you, what? Stepping forward and saying things with your chest. This is about you making promises to yourself and keeping those promises on a daily basis. This is when you, what? Keep the devil at bay. This is how you do it. The rinse and repeat of the addictive cycles, addictive behaviors of low vibing thinking, darling dears. By saying it with your chest and meaning it and being on your transformation tour. On that note, I drops me mic. Don't load to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Like you said, my bad. I'm on point now. Ha <laughs> ha. Love it.
I don't hate it. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Big cat wave.